So my work is motivated by the fact that we currently have all of these small devices that we carry with us everywhere. For example, we have iPhones and PDAs and netbooks. So we have all these devices that have just a little bit of power. They don't have a lot of power, but they're also very well integrated into our lives. We all just accept them as part of our daily lives. So it would be really great if they could run more powerful things, especially things like ubiquitous computing type of applications. So if I was at a conference, and I could take my iPhone out and have it tell me who all these people are, that would be a really great application. But right now your iPhone isn't powerful enough to do that. So what I'm looking at is we make the simplifying assumption that we have a server that's very close to us in the network that we can run some sort of programs on. So for example, now you go to Starbucks and you use their router. But in this system, you would go to Starbucks and you do is use their router, but also a server attached to their router that you could run some sort of processes on and use it basically as an extension of your iPhone. So we're treating the iPhone as just basically an input-output kind of device. And then we're looking at how we can best divide up applications between both the server that's close to us that we can run some subset of things on and also servers distributed all over the internet that we use right now anyway in our sort of daily computing lives and how we can best distribute applications across this sort of platform. So if you were at Starbucks, like you mentioned with your iPhone, you need to do something complicated. Uh -huh. would, as an anonymous user or just a random customer, you could get access to some servers at Starbucks? So we're looking at, we're assuming that you would have some set of programs that Starbucks would have preloaded onto their server. So then you would be able to sort of use code that they'd already approved for you to use. But they would have things like a Google Earth plugin or a you know Microsoft Office plugin, like very common applications. They would have these resources that were built for those applications that you could use. So here we have a client that can be sort of a loose collect connection collection of input devices and output devices. So for example, here we have GPS and then a video and then an earpiece and it's all sort of collated by a PDA that's going to group all the input and output and control sending it back and forth. And we have our workspace which is this very close to us server that I've been discussing and so we can run a subset of things on this workspace and then out in the world we have all of these potential servers that could be our own server or any web server or game server, just any kind of computer we would normally interact with over the internet. I love having the opportunity to meet all of these really interesting people who are doing really great work. Like I get to work with scientists from all over the world who are really talented people and are doing amazing things and it's a great opportunity to be really be immersed in this kind of life that's really build with smart people who are doing interesting work that's going to be the future.